I was happy to see Patrick Ewing get uh, the job in Charlotte. I was told that he was on the short list and would probably get it. Associate head coach, and uh, he joins us now. Congratulations, Patrick. Thank you, Dan. It's always good to be on. Uh, how surprised? Give me the process of getting uh, that job as you sit down. Did you sit down with Jordan and do the interview? <laughs> no, I didn't sit down with him. I think he stayed out of this one. Um, you know, and uh, you know, Steve Clifford, who I worked with for nine years in Houston and also in Orlando, he's the one that got the job. He's the one that uh, asked me to join him. Uh, you know, he and I have a great working relationship. And when he called and asked, uh, you know, I had to do my due diligence and go out there and listen to what they have to say and, you know, ask for the things I wanted to ask for. And uh, we were able to get it. So um, I was happy to join his staff. How important is it to have the title associate head coach as opposed to assistant coach? Well, I thought it was very important. Um, it separ- uh, uh, separates me from the, the other assistants. And it, I think it's a step up to, you know, help me to get to the, my dream, which is to be a, uh, a head coach. Your son tweeted about Jason Kidd getting the job without any prior <laughs> experience. Uh, have you talked to your son about that tweet? No, I haven't talked to him. I, you know, I, I keep telling these, my kids to, to stay away <laughs> from these things. Uh, it can uh, turn, bite you in the butt. Uh, but they're not, you know, they're grown now, so they don't listen. <laughs> well, how surprised were you that Jason Kidd, without coaching experience, got the Nets job? Well, first of all, you know, I'm I'm very happy for him. Uh, Jason, uh, of course, he knows the game. He's been around it for for you know his entire life. Um, I was I was very surprised to see that they, they gave it to him uh, so early. Uh, you know, what a week after he retired. You know, I, I wish him well. You know, I you know I I wish him nothing but uh, success. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how well they do. Or who they tried to hire to, you know, surround them to help in the process. Well, what what do you think the toughest part of that is going to be to go from player to head coach? Well, I think all of it. You know, I mean, you know, he's played the game. He knows how to. He knows. Uh, he knows the game. I mean, it's not brain science. You know, he's not a heart surgeon. Um, but, but the, one, organi- have to, the organizational it, skills, though, that, I mean, you, you got practice and you got, I mean. You, but that, that's true. You're going to have to, one, you're going to have to learn how to, you know, uh, get, you know, work on what you're going to do in practice, right? Your practice plan up, you know, who you're going to ha- have on your staff. You know, if, you, if, if you're a head coach, you try to hire people who you don't want to hire the same, you know, same people as you. You got to, ha- you have your strengths and your weaknesses. And you try to hire people who will help. Uh, you know, strengthen your your weaknesses, and so hopefully that you know whoever he has around him will help support whatever weaknesses he's gonna have. And uh, you know, he's, I mean, this is something new for him. I mean, he's a he's a, a floor general, so he knows you know he knows the game. But who is he gonna have to help him with the what plays he wants to run? Is is what style of play he's gonna uh, implement? There's a lot goes into it. There's a lot goes into uh, being a head coach. And every, I mean, there's not one way to be a coach. There are a lot of different ways. There's a lot been a lot of different people who have been successful at it, uh, doing it um, different ways. But as an ex player, uh, I wish him the best. Um, and as a, a person who has been uh, in the trenches or who's been, you know, working at it at this for nine years. Nine, ten years, and I was very shocked. He's Patrick Ewing, the Charlotte Bobcats associate head coach, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. Can you tell Michael Jordan no in this new role? Yes. Yeah. I, I was, I've always told him no. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm going to speak my mind. He is my boss. He is the owner. He, it's his money. But as a, as a coach, uh, I mean, I, well, first of all, Steve Clifford is the one who's going to be doing all the the uh, the parlaying with him. When I parlay with Michael, it'll be on a friendship basis. So I'm, I'm going to let Steve, uh, he, he's going to take the heat when it comes to that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, did you guys? But I have no problem with telling him no. Do you, uh, do you and Jordan? Uh, I mean, this is a Space Jam reunion for you two guys, right? That, that... Yeah, but but it's been not even re- been a real. Uh, it's not even a reunion. Well, I mean, we've we've been friends for uh, since since high school, and we remain friends. But can you? The hard part is if you hire some, you have to hire somebody you know that you could fire, right? Definitely. Well, I mean, we already know that. That's one thing about this profession. You know, we were in Orlando for five years, both Steve and I, and that's an eternity. You know, Pop, he's been there for, what, 20, 19, 20 years? <laughs> yeah, 1996 I mean, he got there. Only, both, only him, only Pop and Sloan been in that, in a one place for that long. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, you have to give them credit. They, they were very successful. Only way you're going to be, and even, uh, even, even sometimes when you're successful, because – um, in Orlando, we were very successful, and we didn't last long. Well, Vinny Del Negro got shown the door. Lionel right. Hollins got shown Lionel the door. Lionel Hollins, look at I mean, people are losing their jobs, and they're winning. Yeah, that's the scary part. Uh, I did want to ask you about LeBron James. As you look at what's happened and how he's playing, and why is, that, why is there a different LeBron now in the finals as opposed to the MVP in the regular season? I mean, he's – I mean, people are, are – you know, you're going to have your ups, you're going to have your downs. LeBron had a bad game. I mean, he only had one bad game, and everybody's crucifying him. It's a long series. This is not college where, you know, you have one bad game in a seven-game series, and it's over. San Antonio is a great team. Um, they have a great coach. They have their, their game plan is to stop him. If they feel like if they cut the head off the snake, the body will fall. So they're, they're packing the lane until um, Miami starts hitting their shots and opening up the paint. It's going to be difficult for him to score. And, I mean, then let's, and he's going to have to continue to, uh, to take the shots when they're open. He can't, cannot shy away from it. Um, but, I mean, I think he'll be fine. He's just got to keep on playing. He's a great player. He's the MVP. He'll go out and perform. And then the rest of his teammates, the rest of his team, gonna, they're going to have to do their part, too. I've been on a roll asking, uh, you know, Hall of Famers their all-time starting five. Of course, Carl Malone left Michael Jordan off his all-time starting five. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. Do oh you, uh, well, I don't even know why he did that. You know what? I don't even have an all-time starting five. Well, well I, I, the only the only one I know is gonna was gonna be on it is myself. So you're the center on the all-time I'm the center. All right. Even though there have been some great centers in 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 this game, yep. And a lot of them I I look up to growing up. Bill Russell, Will, I got to put myself. If I don't put myself in, I'm going to be crazy. Who's your point guard? Oh, man. Oscar, Magic, look at all the time. Look at all the great ones. It's hard. It would be hard to just to pick. If you, you know, through history, there have been Pete Maravich. Pete, Pete, uh, if you look at all, there have been some great players. To just narrow it down to, to five. Is Magic in your or uh, Michael in your starting five? Definitely. Okay, just want to make sure you're He's pa- the greatest in my era. Uh, power forward? Do you do you believe Tim Duncan is Tim Duncan a center or power forward, Patrick? He's a center. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's a center. He can call it what he wants to call himself. In my book, Tim's been a center ever since David left. <laughs> Would you have LeBron in your all-time starting five? I'm not sure. I mean, what, how long has LeBron been in the league now? Nine or ten years. Uh, so he's been in, in. He's been in there long enough to 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 have the respect. But there's been so many. Is Bird in your all time starting five? Of course. Okay, so Larry the Legend. <laughs> okay, you Bird. And I used and, to hate that guy. I know that's amazing. But you did you you hated him, but you didn't know him. I didn't know him. Did he talk once trash? Once I got to know him, once, well, forget once I got to know him. Once I got to see him play firsthand, that's when I, you know, I'm like, man. But did he ever trash great. talk you? Always. Really? And he's here. Both both Larry and Michael have been the two biggest trash talkers <laughs> I've ever known. Okay, give me the difference between the two. What would Jordan say to you? What would Bird say to you? Uh, well, I mean, Larry. He's always Josh and me, you know, and that's how we really got to be friends in the in the dream team. He's always telling me, Patrick, you're not a center. 
You know, you're a freak. You're a damn power forward. You, <laughs> you know, you want to shoot jump shots. You know, you don't want to. You want to take finger rolls. You know, it's like you're you're not a real center. Uh, Michael, he just always talked trash. He's been talking trash from the first day I met him when I visited North Carolina. He kept telling me he's going to dunk on me, or I can't dunk on him. And, you know, now he's, well, I'm on the same team as him now, so all the trash talking is probably going to have to subside. How close were you to going to North Carolina? You know, I was close. I was close. I, uh, I did. North Carolina was a very good school. But, you know, when I went down there, they put me in that Carolina Inn, and there was a big Ku Klux Klan rally in North Carolina at, uh, when I was there. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not coming down here. I'm staying my butt back, back in Boston. So the reason why you didn't go or the major reason is the uh, the KKK had a rally going on at the big time? Big rally, man. I'm like, and every, every and, you know, in, in uh, North Carolina, you, all, you hear all the crickets. So they had me stuck me in that Carolina hen. And it was, you know, at night down in North Carolina, it gets pitch black. And I use, I hear all the crickets and I'm jumping. And I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> So I said, no, I'm uh, I'm going back. That had back to be home. pretty. But, you know, my first choice was Georgetown, and that was my last visit. My my second choice was UCLA, and that was my first visit. North Carolina is a great school, and they, had, and they had an outstanding coach in Dean Smith, and they had some outstanding talent. But um, even Dean Smith told me, he said, Patrick, if you're not going to come – uh, to North Carolina, you should go to Georgetown. Coach Thompson is an outstanding coach, and you will learn a lot from him. Yep. I think t- things turned out well, and I- I'm really happy for you, Patrick, with this uh, new position, and uh, hopefully great things for you. Thanks, Dan. I, I appreciate it. I'm-, I'm very sorry I'm not going to be able to come up to the man cave. You know, this is something that I've been, I've been begging you and, be- and begging you to-, <laughs> to invite me up there, and you finally invite me, and I'm not going to be able to make it. I My, my bad. I... I should have done it before you got uh, the the associate head coaching job. That's my, that's my bad. Now you have to be a Charlotte fan. Now you better come up. We expect you know since I wasn't able to make it to the man cave, no. we're going to invite you to Charlotte. When you make the playoffs, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. All right, now have a good day. All right, Patrick Ewing, Charlotte Bobcats slash Hornets associate head coach. We'll come back with your phone calls. I had never heard this story about Patrick Ewing going to North Carolina. You imagine him on that team? Worthy, Perkins, Jordan. They have Jimmy Black on that team, too. That's that's an NBA all-star team.